Kulej, dwie strony medalu, is out in Polish theaters, new biopic of a boxer named Jerzy Kulej, who won two gold medals at the Olympic Games in 1964 and 1968. The film stars Tomasz Włosok, Michalina Olszańska and Tomasz Kot, and instead of covering the entire life of Kulej, it focuses on the four-year period between the two Olympic Games at which he won gold. It's not really a sports film either. Um, there's little actual boxing and, and focus on the sports side of things. It's definitely more interested in the more personal aspects of the story. Kulej's relationship with his wife, his coach, his bookie friends, um, his problems in life coming from his lack of discipline in training, tendency to drink, uh, clashes with the communist government. There are, of course, as in every Polish period film, side plots of communism, the totalitarian government, the student protests from the time are from the from the time period are also uh, featured. Here's my problem with the film, uh, because I didn't really enjoy it very much. Uh, it's that while individual scenes are not unpleasant to watch, in fact, they're mostly well acted and the main cast have great chemistry with one another, so it's, it's kind of cool to see them. But while these individual scenes are okay, I don't think that they come together to make a particularly compelling narrative. Um, most importantly, there is a distinct lack of true drama. Um, there are numerous elements introduced in the film which lead you to believe that these are going to have massive ramifications going forward. Kule is a heavy drinker. Surely that will impact his family life or at least his sports performance. No, he just keeps winning anyway. He cheats on his wife. Oh, that is that must ruin his family life. No, she. At first she doesn't know, then she forgives him. It's not a problem. Oh, the family friend who is a student gets arrested during the protests by the government for whom both Kule and his wife work for. Nope, also gets resolved fairly easily. Kule has a run-in with the police. Surely they are going to absolutely fuck him up right now. I mean, considering this is a totalitarian state, right? No, no consequences. Even in the climax of the film, the movie suggests that this... Suggests, it, it basically puts you on the path to it, that this long gestating sexual tension between Kule's wife and her boss is finally going to result in her cheating on him, for his benefit anyway. But no, and this is the outrageous part, there's a full scene of her slowly dressing up, all sexy, and then leaving the house during Kule's fight, and her boss is waiting at his house, having a drink, he hears a, a doorbell ringing, and it turns out not to be her, it's a fake out. She doesn't go. So so my question is, why the fuck would she dress up then to just go out for a walk? Uh, because we know it's it's shown it's the same evening. It is exactly at that same moment. She's watching the same television broadcast he was. It drives me insane because it makes absolutely no sense other than to mislead the audience. So a lot of the drama in the film is fake in the sense that it either leads nowhere or the conflict is created for like two minutes and then immediately resolved. As such, there is no real sense of being gripped or engaged. I, I found myself disconnected emotionally because there was nothing to be afraid of for these characters or stressed out about them. Secondly, I found the dialogue to be often stinted, as it tends to be in a lot of Polish movies. Um, I do think that for the most part the main actors at least elevated and managed to salvage the script, but there are some instances of really egregious delivery from supporting characters. Moments which made me go, who is this guy? Is this a professional actor or did they just grab him from the street? Because the way that line was delivered sucked. And finally, I thought that the tone of the film was all over the place, uh, which is also tied to the sense of the dramatic. Uh, like, there are some scenes in the film which, if you think about, are the most dramatic events in the story. And they play out very often to some ridiculous jazzy music, something out of a Looney Tunes cartoon. So it's like the movie itself doesn't take itself seriously. Why should I? Um, anyway, I, I don't think it's terrible. Uh, as I said, the individual scenes are solid enough to make it a passable experience, but it's not good either. Uh, and I think the main trio of actors are being dragged down by the direction, the music choices, and the lack of truly dramatic writing.